Welcome back into the Aries Tarot. Today we are going to take a look into the Amalia Garza case. So for Amalia, we're going to start with the last person to see Amalia alive or deceased. Spirit, what can you tell me about the last person to see Amalia Garza alive or deceased? Can you tell me about the last person? To see Amalia Garza alive. The strength card in the reverse. This is low energy, raw emotion, or self doubt. We have the Ace of Cups in the upright, which talks about a new connection. We have the Four of Swords in the upright, which talks about someone being a resting. Being in a resting position. The last person to see Amalia as a alive or deceased. Two of Pentacles in the upright talks about basically juggling too many things. The Temperance in reverse, being out of balance, disharmony. So, apparently somebody's juggling two things. This could be two people, two jobs, two whatever. And it's bringing disharmony to the relationship. Seven of Swords in the reverse is keeping secrets, self-deceit. King of Cups in the upright. This is someone who appears generous. This is the romantic energy in your life. So it's looking like he could have had an extra companion that he kept a secret. And again, that's what was causing the imbalance. Juggling two people, apparently. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, which talks about feeling stuck. The world in the upright talks about something being completed. Travel. Whatever the case may be, something has been completed. Someone is in a rested position and feeling stuck. Ten of Cups in the reverse talks about a struggling relationship. The Hermit in the reverse. This is isolation, loneliness, withdrawn. The Seven of Pentacles tells us about long-term view in an investment. Basically something you've been invested in for a long time. The Two of Cups in the Upright it talks about the couple or a romantic partner. Seven of Wands in the Upright talks about protecting yourself, your ideas, and movements. So again, I feel like here this is somebody protecting another relationship. We're already juggling too many things. We're trying to protect this relationship, which is causing a struggling relationship with the other person. The Tower. This is the sudden change, the chaos, when the shit hit the fan. The Knight of Cups in the upright tells us about romance, charm, unexpected invitation, unexpected message. So I wonder if he received a message from this other person and then they got into it. The Wheel of Fortune in the Upright says the Wheel of the Year on this deck, but the Wheel of Fortune in the Upright tells us about good luck, life cycles, and a turning point. 
And then we have the Ten of Wands in the upright, which tells us about the burdens. So, here in the future, I feel like this person, the last person to see Amalia Garza alive, this was a relationship that had a cycle of abuse. This was a relationship that had a cycle of abuse. Jealousy, money, whatever the cause may be, the trigger, anything could trigger this person, in my opinion. This person is a cheater. This person is a liar. And obviously, they can't find Amalia. We already know what the possible outcome could be. I'm going to pray that Amalia is found safe and unharmed. But with this cycle of abuse going on here, and this sudden change, this chaos, because of a message or whatever, hiding another relationship, I don't know. That's what I have for Amalia Garza. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.